Okay, on this section we're going to do exponential models. And example one says at 6 o'clock there are 5,000 bacteria, and at 9 o'clock there is 10,000 bacteria. The question is when will there be 20,000 bacteria? And we're assuming exponential growth. Okay, if you were assuming linear growth, then we would say, oh, it's going up by 5,000 bacteria every three hours. But we're not doing that. Okay, this is not linear growth. This is exponential growth. When you go exponential growth, you're saying it's going up by a certain percentage rate. And if you think about it, it's going up by 100%, or in other words, it's doubling every three hours. So it will double from 10,000 to 20,000 in another three hours. So your answer would be 12 o'clock. Linear growth would be the wrong idea. So you would be thinking 5,000 more. Uh, it, it would take you from 10,000 to 15,000 in three hours, and that would take you to 12, and then 15 to 20,000 in another three hours, that would take you to 3 o'clock in the morning. So uh, you have to realize we're talking about exponential growth. Now, this problem we could have actually done by hand, which we, you know, without even working it out, we realized, well, it's doubling here every three hours. Done. Most problems aren't going to be anywhere near like that. So uh, on this problem, we need to uh, set up a couple points. doesn't sound too uh, good of a food to be eating with all this bacteria in it. Ah, it's a hundred times more horrible than anything I could imagine. And it will be a hundred times more horrible after a certain amount of time. And in fact, we'll be up to 20,000 here in six hours. Now, here's how we would do it. We would set up the two points on the exponential sheet. So I'm on my exponential sheet, and I set up at time zero. I'm calling uh, 6 o'clock, time zero. Uh, there was 5,000 bacteria. Then three hours later, there was 10,000 bacteria. I need two points in there to get the exponential function of best fit. And then I clicked on the Get Equation from Data Points button, and I got the equation. Here it is. Okay, y equals 5,000 e to the 0.231 x power. Then I just substitute in 20,000 for the y and that gives me the answer of 6 hours and that would be the answer to that problem. Okay, on this problem it says if there are more than two points we're going to have to use Excel or a graphing calculator, one or the other, to get the exponential function best fit. It says use the data below to find out when the number of internet domain names will be 10 million. So we have some data here and we're assuming we're going to get the exponential curve of best fit. So I typed, or actually I copied and pasted special as text, this data right here for the number of years after 1990 and the number of domain names into the Excel sheet, the exponential sheet. I have the, that data in there. Click the button and I get the exponential equation of best fit. Then when will it be 10 million? Well, I just typed in 10 million for the Y value, and it tells me in 10.61 years there should be 10 million Internet domain names. So that would be 10.61 years after 1990. So somewhere in between the year 2000 and 2001, that's when there was uh, 10 million Internet domain names. Now on this uh, problem, it says according to the model from the previous example that we just did, how long does it take the number of uh, internet domain names to double? How long does it take them to double? So I would go to the Excel sheet. I already have the equation in. And the thing you want to do here is a two-step process when you're looking uh, for these type of things. You first of all, put zero in for x because that tells you how many there were at the start. Now to find out how long it takes this to double, well, let's put double that amount in there. And we can do that by typing equals two times, and don't type in that number, just click on it, and hit enter, and we get twice the amount there, and it calculates it for us here that it doubles in 0.947 of a year. On this problem, it says according to our exponential model, how long does it take the uh, domain names to increase by 30%? Increase by 30%. So in other words, we're taking the, our initial amount and we're adding on an additional 0.3 initial amount, 0.3 times the initial amount, or 1.3 times the initial amount. So what I'm going to do is make sure I have 0 in for x, and then here I'm going to type in equals 1.3. Not 0.3, but 1.3, because it's a 3% additional. We have 100% of what we started off with, plus an additional 30% or 0.3. So I'm going to take 1.3 times this amount, hit enter, and that gives me 30% increase of that number, and that tells me how long it takes for that to occur in 0.358 of a year. On this problem, it says the half-life of a radioactive substance is 10 days. How many days would it take until there was only 2% of the radioactive substance left? Okay, half-life is in 10 days. What that means is in 10 days, you only have half as much as what you started off with. Now, it doesn't even tell you how much you started off with, so we could say we started off with 100% or 100, whatever you like, just so we were consistent on it. So what I'll say is at day zero, 
I'm on my exponential sheet. And day zero, how much did I have? Well, I'll say one, or you can say 100, whatever you like there. And in 10 days, I have half the amount I started off with. So if I say one here at time zero, I'll say 0.5 here. If I would have said 100 here, I would have said 50 here. Now that's the only two points I have on this problem. And it wanted to know how long until there's only 2% left. Well, that 2% is an amount. Okay, this is the y value is the 2%. Now, if I used 100 here and 50 here, then I would have typed 2 in here for y. But I didn't. I used 1 for 100% and 0.5 for 50%. So that means I'll have to type in uh, 0.02 here. Now, before I do that, make sure that I have 0 here. That's going to be 1 right here. And right here, I'm going to type in equals uh, 0.02 times my initial amount, which was 1 in this case anyway. So I hit enter, and here it is. I'm down to 2% in about 56. I think it's days is what this is, days. So we could think about this a second. Like, for example, uh, at time 0, we would have had uh, 100%. In 10 days, 50%. In 20 days, we would have had... 25%. Now, we didn't need to type all these in, but I'm going to show you that that is the right answer. In another 10 days, 30 days, we would have had half that 25% or 0.125. And let's see, in another uh, 10 days, 40 days, we would have had, uh, let's just do this, equals 0.5 times uh, this amount right here. And we'd be down to about 6%. And by 50 days, we would be down to uh, half of this amount right here. And that would take us down to about 3%. So in 50 days, you're down to 3%. So it makes sense that in 56 days, you'd be down to 2%.